right, so in this example, we're going to compute the flux of this vector field, yz x minus z squared, through the parabolic cylinder y equals x squared, um, where x ranges between 0 and 1, and z ranges between 0 and 4. And probably from this data right here, you don't have a clear picture of what it looks like in, in your head until you start actually sketching it out. And you go, OK, so here's our parabolic cylinder, and it goes in the uh, z direction. Since there's no z in this equation, it's just stretched out along that axis. So I get something that looks like this. And then there's this cryptic instruction that the direction goes from the positive y-axis to the positive x-axis. So in other words, it's going from here uh, over to this way over here. That means uh, that we can assume our surface is uh, oriented so that the positive direction is, is coming out uh, this way. Like that. Okay, so we, we want to find the, the orientation coming coming out that way. Let's, so let's see. So how to set this up? Well, it's not the graph of a function, or is it? Actually, it is the graph of the function if we take it as a, a graph over the um, xz plane. So as the graph of a function of x and z, whoops, z. Um, so what do we have here? So then we could use x is equal to x, and z is equal to z, and y is equal, I guess, to x squared. All right, so that gives us a uh, parameterization, sigma of x and z. And so this is, uh, x x squared z and so this is kind of a function over like uh here the the domain for this function would be some rectangle over here uh more or less so this region here okay so <clears throat> and that actually works out very nicely with the way that our uh, parameter domain is given. Okay. So now let's see. So we're going to need the partial derivatives of this guy. So sigma x is 1, 2x, 0, and sigma z is 0, 0, 1. And so I can go ahead and compute my um, area element. Whoops. Uh, that should be x cross sigma z. Um, so this is, let's see, we've got uh, 1, 2x, 0 across the middle from the sigma x, and then sigma z is 0, 0, 1. I've got my i hat, j hat, k hat. And so this is going to give me, let's see, a 2x in the first coordinate, a minus 1, and a 0. All right. So now I need to check the orientation here to make sure that it agrees with this particular parameterization. So let's see, I can go ahead and um, evaluate. So let's see, check the orientation. I want to see if it gives me the vector that I expect. So I'm going to look at um, sigma x cross sigma z, and I'm going to evaluate it at uh, 0, 0, 0. Um, well, actually, sorry, I guess 0, 0. What am I talking about? And so when I evaluate that, what do I get? I get 0, minus 1, 0. And so sigma of 0, 0, that's uh, right here at the origin. And so the vector that it attaches there is uh, 0, minus 1, 0, which is this guy. And so that one agrees with what I expect to be coming from the unit normal vector positively oriented in that direction. If I'd gotten the one that was pointing in the opposite direction, like what if it had stuck out over here, right? What would I do then? Well, then I would just carry on as usual, except I'd have to throw a minus sign. So if your orientation's off, um, it, it just throws you off by a minus sign. So let me see. So what did we determine? So um, 
we saw that this confirms the uh, parameterization that we chose. agrees with the uh, orientation. Um, <clears throat> if this vector pointed the wrong way, it was pointing out the uh, 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 if it was pointing out to the other side of the surface, um, then we would we'd need a, to put in a minus sign. But we got lucky, AKA um, I set up an example that would work nicely. So, and, and the this vector that I'm talking about right here, that refers to this one right here. Okay, um, so now we're good to go. We've got everything set up. So now we can just go ahead and say, okay, so the flux then, that's f dot d sigma integrated over uh, s. In terms of the parameter domain, we're going to go dx dz, so dz goes 0 to 4, dx goes 0 to 1. And then we've got, um, let's see, so uh, <coughs> f is going to be, okay, so we've got uh, yz, so that's going to be x squared z um, and then we've got uh, x and then minus z squared and this is going to be dotted against our parameterization 2x uh, minus 1 0 or sorry I should have said dotted against our area element and then that's going to be uh, dx Z. All right, and now we're just looking at integrating some kind of easy cheesy polynomial. Um, so we've got uh, 2zx cubed um, minus x plus 0 dx dz. And let's see, so this is. Uh, Mm -hmm. Integral from 0 to 4 to z. You could also fubinate this one if you wanted to for whatever reason. I just decided not to. Um, I think it's easy enough just doing it this way. And let's see. So that's going to be integral 0 to 4 of, I guess we ended up with uh, z over 2 minus 1 half dz, and so that boils down to uh, 4 minus 2, which is 2. And again, um, if we'd ended up picking a parameterization that gave us the vector sticking out the wrong side to agree with the assigned orientation, then we would just throw like a minus sign in at the end. But we don't need to do it because it works here. 